um, blog thing which we launched about a year ago, and um, it's gone really well. I think. I mean, there's a whole lot of, sort of dispute at the beginning about uh, if we have this blog and explain all our secrets to the to the viewers, won't we end up with lots of sort of unwelcome headlines and won't it all be a disaster and we'll get into all sorts of trouble? Um, and luckily, the people who said that we didn't listen to them and we just did it. Um, and I don't think there's been any adverse reaction to it um, so far. I think we've been far, far more transparent than ever before about putting things on blogs about how we make programmes. And the point about if you if you embrace extreme transparency, then clearly the effect of that should be that to improve the way you do things, improve your work practices generally. Um, but my view about extreme transparency is uh, it's good to do it anyway, but if you try to resist doing it, you'll get found out anyway because there's so many powerful bloggers and nosy people out there these days that if you try to hide, hide things from people, they'll catch you out in the end anyway. So I suspect that the answer is don't try it. Um, new me, so what do you make about all this digital hoo ha and everything that's taking place? Well, I mean, it's, it's just huge and, and overwhelming. And I mean, the reality is that kids and young people these days and indeed and some older people as well, are, are playing with all this media in their spare time. They're blogging and they're, they're shooting little videos and they're editing them on their, on their desktops and they're publishing them to the world. And it's sort of incredibly stripped down, incredibly uh, sort of uh, lo-fi and streamlined. Um, and it's great. Um, and I think TV for far, far too long is still stuck on these old high-spec tram lines of making programmes and having different departments doing this, that and the other. Um, and the danger is that unless we adapt incredibly quickly, that we're going to be swept away by people who can do it incredibly leanly. And my last question before I turn the camera again. Um, so what could we be looking forward to, kind of news night, kind of, and its kind of germination from what it really is still, the establishment of kind of good news on the day? And is it, is it likely to change anything in the future? Well, I don't think, I don't think we're the establishment. I, certainly, I don't think that's the aim of the programme. And I think if people watch the programme, they realise that we're, we're not at all the establishment. My aim in, in sort of embracing all this new media is to, to say there's, there's only going to be one constant in the future, and the, the one constant is, is the quality and breadth and range of the stuff that we do. Um, but if we're going to keep that constant, bearing in mind that we face huge cuts in, in our budgets, everything else around that constant has got to change, and that means the way we make the programmes.